All right, so if you're into thrillers, that's one thing, but if you're into thrillers that will take you on an absolute roller coaster ride and have you guessing until the credits roll, then I have a movie that you need to put on your radar. It's time to talk about Caddo Lake. What's up guys, I'm Sully, and today I am very excited because we're talking about the brand new thriller that's coming to Max later this week, Caddo Lake. All you need to know about this one is that the story goes like this. When an eight-year-old girl mysteriously vanishes on Caddo Lake, a series of past deaths and disappearances begin to link together, forever altering a broken family's history. So this is one of those movies that I didn't even know existed up until about a couple of weeks ago, and when I did learn about it, I can't say that I had particularly high hopes for this film, because it's another one of those projects where it was filmed a few years back and is just now debuting on a streaming service service, that's like starting with two strikes before you even get the chance to make a good impression. And I think my low expectations and going in completely blind heavily benefited my experience with this movie because to my absolute surprise, Caddo Lake succeeds as being one of the most ambitious, engaging, and entertaining thrillers of the entire year. I think if you're someone that enjoys movies that keep you guessing, trust their audience, and are fun to talk about, then this is a film that is definitely worth giving your attention to. Now, now, trust me when I say that this is an insanely hard movie to talk about without giving anything away, and once you reach around the halfway point of the film, you'll completely understand what I'm getting at here. Let me put it in the simplest and most non-spoilery way that I can. This project was produced by M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah, that should honestly tell you absolutely everything you need to know, but there's a lot more going on here than you'd anticipate after watching the trailer or reading the synopsis. It's not just your run-of-the-mill procedural thriller about a missing kid. In other words, this isn't the type of movie that you can just toss on after a 50-hour work week on a Friday night. There are so many details, twists, and Easter eggs being thrown at you a mile a minute that if you're not in the right state of mind to absorb everything that it's trying to give you, a lot of that's gonna get lost in the shuffle. I mean, I paused the movie multiple times while I was watching it just to take stock of everything that was happening and to lay it all out in front of me. I was almost visualizing diagrams in my head to make sure that everything made sense. And that's not because the film does a bad job of explaining itself, but there's just a whole bunch going on here to keep track of. Now, there are definitely still some facets of the overall plot that I wish were dissected a little bit more, but if you stay engaged and locked in during this one, it's a total wild ride from beginning to end. Now, when it comes to the acting, I think everyone involved here did a pretty solid job. Dylan O'Brien is far and away the biggest draw on on this roster, and he offers up a compelling and emotional performance. He plays a southern guy working on the lake that can't really get out of his own way and is actively trying to find a deeper meaning to a tragedy that he recently experienced. Our other lead here is Eliza Scanlon, and I wasn't all too familiar with her before giving her filmography page a look, but she does good work here and makes herself incredibly easy to root for as we're whipping around on this roller coaster of a journey alongside her. The rest of the cast gets the job done here and does what they're supposed to do in the fact that they react to and question the actions of our lead characters, which helps to give us a little bit of an idea of what's really happening here in an organic fashion without giving too much away in the process. And I think one of the best parts about this movie is that our director duo this time around, Celine Held and Logan George, clearly aren't interested in holding the audience's hand and over-explaining everything that's going on. With a film like this, you could easily see there being exposition dump after exposition exposition dump, or on the flip side, just leaving way too much up to the audience's interpretation. They balance walking this tightrope in a really effective manner, giving you enough breadcrumbs to help you figure out what's actually going on, but not spoon feeding you to the point where you lose the excitement of discovering what's unfolding here on your own. When that aspect of a film like this is really strong, it honestly feels like some sort of an interactive mystery, and I love movies that are able to pull that off. Who knows if this project will be as effective for other people as it was for me, but this is just so far up my alley, it's not even funny. Overall, guys, Caddo Lake was definitely a pleasant surprise for me. I went into it with rock bottom expectations, but the plot will keep you guessing, the performances are solid, and the cinematography is very effective. If you're a fan of movies that trust their audience, don't show their cards until they absolutely have to, and also give you the answers you're looking for in a satisfying way, then look no further than this film. 
film. In this twist-filled thriller, the most shocking reveal might just be that it's actually a really good movie. Caddo Lake gets a Sully score of four stars. So that's my review for Max's latest thriller. What do you think is the best thriller movie you've ever seen is? I'd probably have to go with Zodiac from David Fincher, but let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys at the next one.